I have what I think are two of the worst sounding vehicles ever. We're gonna fix that. Oh my God. <laughs> oh shit, the macaroni mid -pipe. Welcome back, Hootingen Project Cars, and today we are fixing two of the worst sounding vehicles ever. One's old and crappy, one's new and really nice, and I actually never even considered buying one of these cars because the way a car sounds is so important to me, and this one sounds so bad. It's my F80 M3. You guys have seen this. So this is my daily driver. It is a 2015 F80 M3, mostly stock. And it wasn't really what I was looking for, but it was a good price. I always liked the F80. I think they're probably the best looking M3. So I picked it up, it had springs on it, and I put on these Rotaforms. Rota spec uh, TUFs. Um, they're 19 by nine and a half in the front, 19 by 10 and a half in the rear, 265, 35 in the front, and then a 305, 30 in the back. No spacers, these wheels are made for this car. They're off the shelf wheels, they're not custom made. It's called their Rota Spec program. It's actually really cool. I love them. No fender roll, no anything. It's perfectly flush. It doesn't rub at all. So under the hood, it's pretty stock, but it did have some common issues for the car. Brought it to European Auto Source in Anaheim. They're my go-to BMW shop. It needed a valve cover gasket changed and the intercooler was leaking. So the intercoolers on the F80s are air to water. And when they leak, they don't leak outside the car. They leak in to the engine. CSF makes these, it's 100% drop in. Uh, it's way stronger, has a lot more cooling capacity. Eventuri makes a bunch of nice ports. I've run an Eventuri intake on every BMW I have. Sound great, they save some weight and they always look really nice. Got their carbon intakes, two of them, two turbos, carbon charge pipes, and then they even threw in a carbon uh, engine cover. Uh, so it looks pretty good. And this is actually factory, which is cool. It's got this crazy carbon fiber strut brace. Yeah, this thing looks pretty rad under the hood. And uh, we did an episode on the E36. We wanted to vote if it sounded worse than a VQ. I think I won. So the difference is, is back in the day, these cars didn't sound bad because they were so quiet. Whereas this is pretty new and it's kind of loud. Even right out of the factory, it sounds terrible. And that actually deters a lot of people from not realizing how awesome of a car this is. This 100% stock exhaust, except it has the stock cats and then it's just missing the muffler. It sounds absolutely atrocious. This also 100% stock and it sounds terrible. I filmed a cold start at my house because it's truly awful. I, who would buy this? Who made this at BMW? Previous generation had an, the S65, which is a 8,500 RPM, individual throttle body, four liter V8, and it sounds magnificent. Then we have this. Yeah, we're gonna go ahead and start this up. You got the cold start, that's one thing. Now we're gonna do the warm start. That was valves closed. I have a module from EAS in the car that allows me to open the valves. And this is what it sounds like when it's louder. It's truly disgusting. So today we're gonna fix that because I cannot possibly drive this thing any longer with how it sounds. And then this car, I can't put my friends and coworkers through hearing this thing when I wanna jam in the yard because it's just so bad. M3, we'll get that on the lift. We'll knock this out really quick. This car we have to fabricate parts for because they don't make what we're gonna make. And I'll explain how we're gonna make these cars sound better in just a minute. Before I show you what we're gonna do, we we'll pull this old exhaust off. Oh no. Who is it? Macaroni linguini fusilli. This thing is just on some other levels. It's a macaroni mid pipe. All right. Fine, we'll get into it right now. Okay, so these cars sound horrible, yes? Yeah, I'm sorry, but I, they're, honestly, they're BMWs stop sounding good after the E30. I am looking for a type. <laughs> They've been doing this for cars like the R34 GTR forever. It's effectively, it's because of the exhaust manifolds being a straight six are unequal length, and it creates that crazy noise. For example, the reason why a Subaru STI sounds like an STI. 
this is a twin turbo in line six. It's configured a lot like the NA in line six, 328 that we're gonna work on later. But basically, one turbo's here, one turbo's here. And that's what causes the rasp. On R34s, they do equal length downpipes and basically the shorter downpipe takes like a little U-turn and then comes back in. Active Auto Work figured out that if you just do a bunch of little slight bends and then cross over, you could make up the difference essentially going straight. This is a dumb question. Maybe you can't answer it, but is adding that in is making the length the same? Yeah, basically this pipe is from the rear most turbo where the mid pipe would actually be shorter. So what they did is they actually just added bends and then crossed it over and effectively it makes it the same length as the other one. Like yeah. Look at all the welds and stuff, man. Yeah, everything's really good. Look at this ball and socket, but I mean, it's like it's tapered. It's actually, yeah, it's got it's the really, little ledge on it. It's like really nice. I really want to try to smooth out the sound of this thing because like I said, I love this car. There We're gonna cut right here. You cut it and then you merge the mid pipe. Back box is kind of cool because it's got factory valves. When you have your valve open, it's only going through this little muffler right here. And then if you want it to be super quiet, you run through the it goes through the muffler. whole muffler. Such, such like a simple solution to a problem. Oh my God, I almost <laughs> killed myself on my oil spill over here. There we go. Ow. Thanks, buddy. You can see that this mid pipe here, the shorter side of the turbo that's closer to the back of the car obviously takes a shorter route throughout the back. This makes up a lot more room. Has an X pipe, some resonators, and uh, I don't know. I can't really get much more scientific than that. We got the macaroni mid pipe in. Uh, install, pretty straightforward. Unbolt it from there. We got a hanger there. Cross brace here. Some clamps, a hanger, clamps, and the muffler. All we had to do here was cut an inch and a half off this weld, clamp that in, and we're pretty much good to go. I still have the muffler sagging because uh, Active Auto Work makes some nice exhaust tips, and we got a carbon diffuser and front lip from EV Aero that we're gonna be putting on. First, I'm gonna knock these tips off. They're actually just press fit. Swap the new ones on, pop the diffuser on, and I'll start this thing up. boys over at Evolve and Eventury kill it on the carbon fiber stuff. So they actually launched a company called EV Aero and I got a three piece rear diffuser and carbon fiber as well as a front lip. And the quality of this stuff, just like all their intakes is so good. I mean, the weaves are perfect, super light and styled pretty aggressively. Basically it replaces this nothing part in between the exhaust along some side spats and then a front lip. So this all is 100% direct bolt-on. So looks like it should take literally no time at all. And then I don't know about the front lip. We'll figure that out later. Got the macaroni mid-pipe, the diffuser, the new exhaust tips side spats and everything on. So now it's time to fire it up. Sounds pretty good. A lot louder than stock, I guess, just deleting that big midsection muffler. And that's valves closed. Cold start still has a little rasp. I think that's just from the stock muffler, but uh, it'll quiet down once it warms up. I also put this valve controller module in from European Auto Source from factory it has valve exhaust but if you have the valves open in M Sport mode the second you get into third gear or above the valves close so it's kind of annoying so Mach Schnell made a module where essentially you could control the valves to be always open always close or work like factory it's super easy to install it took like five minutes but it just works like this just press the top button here hold it so that's valves open, and those will stay open the whole time. Definitely 
until you got rid of the, the weed whacker sound. I know it's not the most exciting upgrade for this channel, but for the daily driver, it's a big difference. It's getting a little late, probably not gonna start the E36 tonight. Unfortunately, no one makes an equal length mid pipe for that, so we're gonna have to fab something up and a couple Borla mufflers. And I think this may make the E36 sound great. I'm hoping, let's see what happens. We have the macaroni mid pipe installed we and we're gonna hear it. We got the macaroni mid pipe installed, trying to make the F80 M3 go from the worst sounding factory production car ever made. Seems uh, kind of lofty. It's something good. Has yeah. it got a burble tune and all that? Nah, I'm not. Do I look like I'm 17? Is there one sad boy gang sticker on the vehicle anywhere? You know what? Come on. <laughs> I, was, I didn't know I was gonna get jumped verbally. What's <laughs> fucking around? Seatbelt on for the brunnies. It sounds way more tasteful. And you actually kind of got some nice water roosts going. Yeah. How is it inside? I mean, it's nice. It sounds great, like cruising and stuff. It makes the car sound a lot better. Right. Well, let me get a little listen inside with you. Nah, uh, I mean, it's worth it. I love this car. I think it came out to be like my favorite daily driver I've ever had. Really? Yeah. Overall comfort, the styling. I love the wheel and tire setup. Like, it looks really it's tough. It's fast, it's super comfortable, it's practical. Like, I love this car. This may be my best favorite daily driver Woo! I've ever had. I'll the man give it to it. 78 cars in the seven years that I've known you. It's not not really an exaggeration. Well, there you have it. Get yourself some macaroni mid pipes, some tasteful fitment, and you got a perfect daily driver. Vin, what's your plans for this next? Is it good? Is it done? Um, come on, Ron. You know what my plans for this are next. Turn it into a GTR magically? Oh, no. Yeah, yeah this, I'm going to do an R35 conversion on, which will mainly mean whatever someone out there is like, hey, man, I got an R35. It's really impractical. You want to trade for F80? And I say, let's do it. Next up on the list of de shittifying the exhaust sound. We got the junk box free 36. So here's the current setup. Stock manifolds, some janky little bend here, stock cats, and then just no muffler. But it's literally the worst sounding car ever. hate driving it because it sounds so bad. I've got a plan for a simple fix on this car. We've got a Morla muffler. Bad. So it's got two, two and a quarter, I think, inlet and one three inch outlet. Instead of using a Y pipe, I'm gonna come straight into this, into that muffler in the back. I do wanna try making an equal lane section for it, but that's a little bit beyond my skill set. So I'm gonna start chopping this up and getting this thing in place. And then if I could convince Jameson to help me for a bit, you sure about that? then we'll make some equal length pipes on this too. You're doing an exhaust swap? Yeah, but no, I'm gonna have to make an exhaust. What? What's Oh, you're just hodgepodge, you know that? Oh, so I caught Josh throwing this in a dumpster, and uh, I was like, hey, this has some bends on it that I might need, so I might use the dumpster exhaust. So, yeah. yeah. I'm just gonna cut this off and wing it. So, I'm gonna go find a uh, sawzall. I'm not gonna measure anything, but I'm just gonna cut it here. What the french fry? Where did you come from? Damn, that I feel shit like was... I'm just procrastinating working on my own car by just helping everyone else work on theirs. That shit was butter. Do you, do you need these? <laughs> um, you, oh, no, man, I'm about to sell these cats to Dude. Wow. That's some cash right there. We're almost done. I could actually just leave it as is now. No, no, please don't. Are you just gonna sandwich those on there? Oh yeah, yeah, bro. Bang that shit all the way back till this one hits. Yeah, and then just weld it. No, no. I we've got exhaust tape. 
No. Exhaust tape it. Yo. I'll exhaust clamp it, I'm not gonna exhaust tape it though. Yo, Project Garage boys are so much more fun than Grid Assembly boys. No, it's pure desperation. I just want this car to be quiet. <laughs> oh my god. Whoa! Oh, get that first one. Oh my god. This is so chaotic right now. Because I could weld some pipe on pipe here. That's what you need to do. You need to and weld. Extend it. You need to, it's snowing. to add pipe there. You need to add pipe. It's always add pipe. Alright. I'm gonna go get some pipe. Tack it on there. I don't even know where the welder is. This is gonna be the fastest, most hack install ever. Oh my gosh. It was a little bit mismatched on the length. So what I'm gonna do is I cut some pieces, one longer than the other, but I didn't measure. Wait, which one needs to be longer again? The driver's side needs to be longer, okay. So I'm gonna weld the longer one on here, and then the shorter one on there. Hopefully then we can slip the muffler on. Oh my God. You just gonna blow your eyeballs? Yep. This is like uh, if Brad were to build an exhaust, you know? <laughs> yep. It's hard to do when you can't see. A welding mask would probably help, I guess. Yep. Okay, that's good enough. Oh yeah, it's gonna work. So I'm gonna tack it, build the whole exhaust out the back, just tacked, and then I'll take it all down. I might just weld it to the body of the car so it doesn't rattle. I can't, dude. <laughs> This is, this is something magical. You about to really weld this shit to the car? No, but I'll put a little, cause that's gonna rub. Yeah. So, yeah, I'm already done. You should put a muffler on I that got, guy. I got another muffler. Down. Yeah, I'm not fine, Jolly. Without you, I fall apart, all right? This man's pouring motor oil into a cup. He has no idea what he's doing. Ah, dude. Are we done? Oh, shit. <laughs> I think you gotta step on it. Yeah, you gotta cover it. Oh, hell yeah. Yeah, I'm making this out of complete garbage. I got no. two new mufflers and just straight up trash that I found around the shop. Yeah, it could be a little higher, but you know. It's yeah. cool, it's cool. Now all you gotta do is take it down and seal all the holes. It needs to be serviceable. I weld these on, and then I leave this slip fit, and I leave this slip fit and just slam. So if I need to like take my diff out or clutch or something, I'm not stuck taking like the whole exhaust off. Stuff. So you just have to seal so these holes. So I have holes. to weld these, which is like the biggest problem area. It'll look gross, but I'll spend some time getting it. Done deal. <laughs> I mean, I don't know what the f I'm doing, so. I don't know why I took it off the lift already. <laughs> <laughs> it just means that no matter what the result is, we're done. That's it, man. It's late. Dude. It's not bad. It's nice and beefy. Right, we got like one millimeter of gas left. Dude, I'm feeling it. Even with 
with a shit car, he's so responsible. Yeah. Warming it up. Dude, not only did it quiet, it sounds good. Dude. Sounds good? Yeah, it sounds so much better now. Dude. Dude. I want to hear what it sounds like. You give it a rip. Dude, it sounds great now. Oh, it's got flames! Dude, it shot flames! <laughs> yeah, it definitely did. Yo, our burger exhaust has flames? Yo, I gotta get another rip in Hell it. Hell yeah, yeah, dude. <laughs> Car. This thing's more fun than the other thing. <laughs> Damn, Woo! man. Dude, minimal effort, maximum fun. Maximum fun. God, it sounds great now. Yeah, dude. It sounds so good. Oh, dude, thanks for your help. Hell yeah. You see K truck in the background. Bring back K truck. Bring back K truck. Where's K truck? What's up with K truck? I think we should bring him back. Where are you, Jameson? Oh, yeah. I love this thing. This thing's pretty stacked for a K truck. Yeah. 